I got custom RC mods here, and today I'm going to be talking about flying with a bulky case. Now, if you're like me, you have a protective case for your iPhone or Android phone, um, or you just have a really, um, really fat phone in general, and you can't really fit it in the controller. Now, I could take this this case off of my iPhone 6s and it would fit perfectly into the controller. In fact, about the time the Mavic was designed, this was the optimal phone to use with the controller. However, um, you know, I really don't want to do that. If you don't, if you know anything about life proofs, they're a pain to take off every single time you want to fly, and every single time you take off a life proof case, the, the actual waterproofing, um, the mount, the reliability for the waterproofing can, uh, degrade and because it the seals kind of wear every time taking it on and off so basically um what i've done is i've uh thought of an easy way to mount your phone with a case in your mavic and now i don't know if this is going to work for all phones in all cases but for a lot of bulk, bulky phones this will work fine so right here i've got a three foot lightning cable your standard um just from apple and I've wound it up most of the way, so it's about six inches long in total, maybe even less than that. But basically, I'm using the uh, USB port um, underneath the uh, main controller. And then the next thing I do is I weave it behind the left arm, and you can do either side now. And then I plug it into my phone. Now, I use this little uh, lightning, this little waterproof seal cover for the lightning port on my phone. And I kind of jam it into my, uh, kind of jam it into the arm, and then I um, use it with the other arm. I smash it in, them both in, just like that. And as you can see, um, it works perfectly. So um, it's of course it's not exactly in, but it's kind of pushed together. And you you can as you can tell the phone, the phone is in there. So that's really good. Um, it works just the same. Um, I'm probably going to get a 6 inch pretty soon because I really can't deal with all this and I like one of my lightning cords back. Um, but the nice thing about this is I took, so I had to take out my little, um, little jumper cable from the side of the remote. The nice thing about this is that there's no, the cable does not, uh, protrude from the handle at all, which is amazing. And also I can charge while my uh, remote while flying with a micro USB cable and a power bank. Um, which is also a great feature if your remote is running low, but you still want to keep flying. So there, there are a lot of different reasons why I did this. Um, just because it's, even if I didn't have a problem with this, this is a great idea. Just because um, we have you can charge and things like that that I just went over. So um, this also allows you to uh, switch between like a tablet, like an iPad Mini, um, and your phone and you don't have to worry about like plugging stuff in and taking out your little cables and things like that whereas it's all in one so this works perfectly and i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope this is very useful to you guys so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one